He is unseen. He is most merciful, most beneficent. He is the creator. He gives life. He takes life. The God of creation, the God of the universe, the transcendent, unknowable God. To think there is a God and to miss Jesus is to get it wrong. Well, English society once upon a time used to have very strong religious values. Does there need to be more education about the person of Jesus? Absolutely. You've got a culture that is saying, Jesus, if at best, is a moral teacher, and we maybe should base a few of our rules for the country on him. At worst, he's a lie and he didn't exist. We need to educate children. Yeah, this Jesus did exist, and it's up to us to, make, to work out for ourselves who he is. I think definitely community for me, like a huge um, church is just all about the community and the people and like the loving nature of everyone. In Islam, there are five pillars of Islam. So we believe in one God. We believe uh, uh, in prayers five times a day. Uh, we believe in charity, and we believe in uh, pilgrimage, performing Hajj once in, in our lifetime, and Ramadan. And those are the five pillars. Jesus came actually to tell us that we aren't good enough to keep God's laws. He came to tell us actually he was the substitute for us. Um, so he died instead of us. Being a Christian in practice is a lot more about a relationship between you and God. The religion of Christianity and the Bible is mentioned and so therefore as a Muslim we believe in the teachings of Christ, we believe in, in how Jesus came into, into this world and how he left this world and that the fact that he would return one day to complete his mission. To say, oh yes, um, I, I'm a Muslim for example, many of my Muslim friends will say this, I'm a Muslim but aren't we kind of the same religion? Um, isn't Jesus a prophet of Allah? Well, no, they've missed, they've missed the point, actually, because they're saying that Jesus isn't God. Um, and it comes back to that triune, um, the, the triad of what Jesus can be. He can either be mad, bad, or God. And it, any religion that says he's anything other, um, which is all religions apart from Christianity, I might add, um, I'd have to say they misguided us the identity of Jesus, therefore have got it wrong. I think people think that Christians are very judgmental um, and I think that's something that's um, definitely, well, I don't think it's true at all. Many people think the Bible is a book and Christians follow it word for word because it came from God. But the Bible is a collection of books spanning a very long time. So we believe in Christianity, we believe in Judaism and those are the two major faiths that are mentioned in the, in the Quran. Moral values come from um, uh, the Bible, God's Word. Um, he lays down uh, the way in which we should be living, the way which he's created us to live. Um, um, but having sinful hearts, people walk away from following God's words and God's commandments and that's why we live in the world that we live in, which is broken and, yeah.
moral values must come from a godhead in the universe. Now the reason why I say this is we're talking here about the relativity of truth. How can you have anything that's true without having someone outside the system to lay a foundation for everything within the closed system? Any religion that leads to God must also come from God. A vast number of people who find in their religious practice something that is reasonable, coherent, beautiful, life-giving, sustaining. Obviously, faith is an important part of my life, and I feel it gives me those strong moral <laughs> values and helps me to, um, if you like, run my life in a safe environment, in a peaceful environment, and able to live and run a life that I am happy with. It is the God of our hearts, the God whose spirit is in every human being. And it is the God revealed in Jesus because for us, God has a human face. If Jesus is God and we've got to give our lives to him, it's going to be costly for us. It's gonna cost us maybe a few of our friends and what they think of us. Oh, you're a Christian, like, why, why are you doing that? They're gonna think we're idiots. And we might be scared of that. That's why people don't want to become Christians, give their lives to Jesus. Again, they're idols, aren't they? Idols saying, I want things more than I want Jesus. And that's what it comes down to. I don't want Jesus that much. I want other things more. I want my reputation. I want success. I want money in life. Um, Jesus demands a lot for us, but he gives us eternal life.